this is to show the difference between uh, degraded soil and good rich humus soil. Uh, on one hand we have a lot of soil degradation in the world and actually the shocking truth is the world has lost one third of fert fertile soil between 1950 and 1990. This came out of the UN Millennium uh, Report and this was not received uh, because it's, uh, it's well sort of undermining our future. And so degraded soil, the pH value will go down very strongly. You cannot produce very much anymore. There is no water reproduction and there is flooding and drought very fast because the uh, land doesn't hold water anymore. To the contrary, if we have a soil that is rich in humus, and this can be enriched with organic waste, we can have composting also together with sanitation, and such a good rich soil makes a lot of production, and uh, this can be combined with uh, using uh, charcoal to enrich the compost. Then it also stands tropical situations, so also in warm climates, this soil will be long-lasting. That's what we learned from the Amazon, uh, from those, those old uh, indigenous uh, uh, people who managed to bring charcoal into the soil in a way to make it long-lasting. So we see these soils lasting since 500 years and those people living on terra preta soil, they have a good income, they have enough food and uh, this is also reproducing water. And this can be combined with uh, producing energy in a way of uh, wood gas technology. So you can actually use wood or woody waste, use this for cooking and after the cooking you have charcoal left for the composting of the kitchen waste combined with uh, the charcoal that is left from, from the cooking process and then you can uh, produce relatively large amounts of long-lasting humus soil. Okay. And also there are some slogans on there that like good soil makes water and, and so on. Uh -huh. This is really good. <laughs>